Meanwhile, Pima County is moving forward with plans to make the most of the area's water supply and work to reduce flooding in the county. News 4 2 Sun Shelly Jackson joining us live from Midtown with more. Shelly. Well, Priscilla, this is Seneca Park. It's located in the Christmas Wash watershed near Seneca and Dodge. And with the county's new program, you can expect to see a lot more places like this. It's a win-win to kind of do this, to kind of take the rain as a resource and figure out how to use it to make Tucson more green. Pima County has approved a plan to increase the use of stormwater and mitigate flooding in urban areas. As we develop uh, urban uh, spaces, we introduce Concrete, roofs, asphalt, um, all of that generates more stormwater. Um, so where that is generated the most is where we want to capture it. The Pima County Regional Flood Control District is looking at mid-sized projects like this one at Seneca Park. It's a prototype for future stormwater projects. Well, those, those basins will be intended to uh, provide flood mitigation and um, in a passive way, um, provide uh, stormwater for uh, uh, vegetation growth, uh, bring in tree canopies, uh, cooling effects. The county is also looking at collecting neighborhood stormwater. The practice is already in place in dozens of Tucson neighborhoods. Rainwater and stormwater is a huge untapped water resource for our community. And the best place to use it is right where it falls. Extended curbs with cuts capture rainwater as it runs down the street, irrigating vegetation and preventing flooding further down the road. There are still a lot of details to work out, like how much water could the county save with this program. But I applaud the creation of these flood detention and retention basins. They serve great roles for us in our community. So this will be an ongoing program. Flood control officials expect to complete a few mid to small size projects every year. In Midtown, Shelly Jackson, News 4 Tucson.